where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. If you grew up in church, you probably memorized this verse in Sunday school. You might have even learned it in a song. But if you haven't yet, your challenge today is to learn this verse and commit to doing it. It says, Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. And learn the address, too. It's Psalm 119.11. Remembering that it's Psalm 119 is easy. That chapter is full of verses about loving God's word. And if you look at the address, the 9 is hidden between the 11s, so it's easy to remember where it is. As I said yesterday, keeping our way pure, becoming more like Christ, involves the Bible being read, studied, memorized, and applied to our lives. Of course, this verse encourages us to memorize God's word. As I promised, I'm going to share what I learned about the word hidden. Oh, it's such a rich word. It means to hoard, store up, guard, treasure. If you found a treasure, you'd want a place to keep it safe, right? Well, our hearts are the safest place for God's word. It's secret, inaccessible, protected, guarded, concealed. It's something the devil can't take away. Once a verse is in your heart, it's permanent. I never really thought about how permanent until recently when a friend of mine had to go into a care center because of her dementia. Though she's confused much of the time and she doesn't remember many things, God's word is so firmly in her heart that if you get her started on a verse, she can quote it completely, sometimes whole chapters. The same is true for hymns. Once she starts singing, she can sing joyfully all four stanzas of practically any hymn that she grew up with, because they're hidden in her heart. God's word is a priceless treasure, written and given to us as a gift by the God of the universe. It's powerful, life-changing, transforming, both for us and for others that we share it with. And God doesn't just want it in our minds, but in our hearts, so it will come out of our mouths and through our actions. He wants it where we can access it any time, not have to look it up, but just have it pop onto our tongue when we need it. It can't be stolen from us or taken away. Once I had my Bible stolen because I'd left it in the car overnight. That was the Bible that I'd had growing up, one that I had used over and over. It was my friend. But the verses I memorized as a child and continue to memorize today are still with me, even though that Bible is not. So why go to all this trouble? Why are we hoarding up God's word in our heart? It says in the verse, so we won't sin against him. His words treasured in our hearts give the Holy Spirit access to them to bring to our memory when we need them. It's rather like canning and preserving fresh fruits and vegetables in the summer so you'll have them for the winter. So when a temptation or trial comes along, the Holy Spirit inside of us can pull up a verse to remind us how God wants us to respond. Like, resist the devil and he will flee. Or, do not fear, be bold and courageous because the Lord your God is with you. Or even some more specific verses to comfort us, encourage us, to build us up. And the Holy Spirit can use those same verses for us to comfort, encourage, and build up others. There's power in His Word, and we should delight in every morsel of it. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening! And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.